Hydrographic Surveyor Certification. We all know there are lots of different ways to become a hydrographic surveyor. Also known as a hydrographer. You can study surveying at uni and take a combination of professional coursework and practical experience to gain your hydrographic skills. Or you can become a hydrographic surveyor through the Royal Australian or Royal New Zealand Navy as an officer or a sailor. After that, of course, there are lots of different career paths and many different roles or disciplines for a hydrographic surveyor to specialise in. Hydrographic surveyors work in fields as diverse as nautical charting, port, harbour and coastal zone management, geophysical survey, offshore construction, military rapid survey and inland waterways. Each discipline requires its own special set of skills and knowledge. So whether you're a recent graduate or an old hand, it's important to know where your career is headed, what skills you need and what course to chart to get to your destination. It's also important to develop recognition within your chosen hydrographic discipline to assure others of your ability to perform the hydrographic task competently. This is where certification comes in. So what is certification? You might be familiar with the International Board on Standards of Competence, or IBSC, for Category A and Category B hydrographic surveying courses on offer at universities or through the Navy. These courses are recognised internationally as satisfying the highest professional educational standards. While a person may receive a diploma or degree by completing these courses, they don't reflect the skills, practical experiences and expertise you will have gathered in the field during your employment. The Australasian Hydrographic Surveyor Certification Panel, or AHSCP, now administers an internationally recognised scheme that provides both Level 1 and Level 2 certification for hydrographic surveyors. The scheme jointly sponsored by the Surveying and Spatial Sciences Institute, or SSSI, and the New Zealand Institute of Surveyors, operates under the Hydrography Commission within the SSSI. This scheme provides the means for a hydrographic surveyor to receive professional recognition and credibility across other spatial professions, employers, government, non-government organisations and the wider community. Sure, so who can apply for certification? The good news is that if you're planning a career in hydrography or are already working as an experienced hydrographic surveyor, there is now a clear path to follow in order to be recognised as a certified professional. You can start out as a uni graduate, having completed the relevant university or IBSC accredited course, join through the Navy and complete Category B training, and gain experience in the field through employment as a hydrographic surveyor. No matter what your age or at what stage you are in your career, if you have obtained the necessary education qualifications and have gained the required field experience, you are ready to consider certification and can submit your application to the AHSCP at any time. So what is specialist hydrographic certification exactly? AHSCP certification represents the accredited endorsement of individual skills and abilities that provide immediate assurance to an employer or client that you are a competent hydrographic surveyor. Level 2 certification recognises someone's practical comprehension of hydrographic surveying. This level is regarded as the technical level. Level 1 recognises the hydrographic surveyor as being competent to undertake and manage hydrographic surveying projects. Level 1 is the highest attainable and is regarded as the professional level. Certification can be granted at either level, depending on your academic qualifications and experience. But quite often, certification at Level 2 is used as a springboard to achieving Level 1 certification sometime down the track. How do I get certified? And how long does it take? Certification is not difficult, but it does require a commitment that you maintain an up-to-date log or workbook that records the work you've completed while in the field. If you're considering certification, you should think about starting this as soon as possible. The log or workbook is a requirement of the person's certification application to the AHSCP. It's an official endorsement of the tasks and projects undertaken in the course of your hydrographic employment. It's used to demonstrate to the AHSCP your field experience and ability to get the job done. Depending on your education level and experiences, you could be a certified hydrographer within two to five years of starting your career. 
What are the benefits of certification? Certification has a lot of important benefits for you as an individual. Gain a mark of excellence and stand out in a crowd of other spatial professionals. Achieve recognition from employers and enhance your career opportunities. Attain an extra measure of credibility, respect and recognition within and outside the professional community. Obtain recognition from government, community and the public for your contribution to the spatial sciences. Enjoy an enhanced salary. Certification also benefits someone who employs hydrographic surveyors. As an employer, you can significantly increase the confidence that clients have in your organisation. Certified hydrographic surveyors are a critical part of Australia's maritime infrastructure. LINS requires the surveyor in charge to hold the appropriate professional certification for safety of navigation surveys. Most importantly, there is now an emerging requirement for employers and organisations to ensure they only employ certified hydrographic surveying professionals in their teams. We will graduate with the Bachelor of Surveying this year and working on certification is the next stage in our careers. So, if you've completed your survey education and have the practical surveying experience under your belt, there's no reason not to be certified and no better time to start the process.